following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Pete in Long Island. Hey, Pete, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Good evening, and I want to give you a big thank you. Last night I called for your advice, and you gave me such wonderful and correct information. If you remember, I was sure three goal stocks, yes. N-E-M, A-U, and A-E-M. Right. And based on your opinion, you've been right on the mark with this. Boy, it was wonderful, Tom. I gotta be honest with you. It's unbelievable what you're doing for your radio listeners. Well, I, I appreciate the call, man. Thank you so much. You now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Live in faith that the whole world is on your side so long as you are true to the best that is in you. Muck it up! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 270, NASDAQ off 55, S&P's down 17, gold contract up $15.60, trading at $1,065.20 an ounce. Friday in the markets, gold folks, bottom line, it looked over the cliff, it decided not to jump. Yesterday you came down, we got to a price point of $1,050. Seven and uh, bottom line, but 1047 rather. And uh, it was a buck and a half off its swing low, rejected the swing low, had light of volume, goes top side today. Bottom line, gold wants higher price. Equities want gold equities, silver equities want higher price. Silver, same setup in silver. Silver was looking over the cliff, decided not to jump off the cliff. Goes top side, has volume behind the move, up 39 cents, $14.10. Both the gold and silver contract, folks, they've been testing these lows for approximately four and a half months. Um, scene today was a good scene, particularly on a Friday, particularly with the, the, the rest of the market uh, going south in a big way. Platinum, platinum up $15, trading at $8.59 an ounce. You got copper, another indication that uh, these commodities want to stop moving, which is counterintuitive, by the way, with the Fed going up. But copper, up six pennies at two ten a pound. Light sweet crude, different ball game, man. We must, we just have so much oil slushing around, folks. It's pretty amazing. Light sweet crude, thirty four dollars and fifty nine cents. So the high volume swing low from two thousand and nine is thirty two forty. Looks like that is going to be game. We're going to go after the thirty two forty. The way that the oil market is actually trading, meaning back and forth, back and forth, it is building cause because all the volume is to the downside. It's building cause to look, look to go a lot lower than 3240. We'll see what happens once it gets down and whacks that baby. Bonds, 10-year bond up 12 ticks, 126.16. 30 up 16 ticks, 156.13. Same type of counterintuitive move, move in the markets. They're going higher, they want higher price, lower yield. King dollar, king dollar down 580 ticks, trading at 98.74. Now, king dollar, yesterday goes top side, folks, with 1,400 ticks. Doesn't have volume on the way up. You're backing down today with lighter volume. So bottom line, you know, on a short-term basis, the bulls and bears are fighting over king dollar. My take on a longer-term basis, you have juice and volume down at the lows. That king dollar wants to go run down into the 95 area. Euro. Euro is up 19, uh, 39 rather, at 108, and the yen is trading one down 129 at 121.27. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Here we go. This is, uh, we had option expiration happening, folks. You failed on price, failed on volume. Bottom line, we're coming down with 167 million shares. You're going into a swing point that had 182 million. We're going to basically, we're coming down on volume once again. 
when you take a look at this and you bring this on a longer term basis as to, okay, what has the market been doing? Well, the market since May, folks, has been making lower highs and lower lows. Bottom line, we're going downtown. Uh, this is going to get really intriguing going into the end of the year, of course, because what you have is that if we bring the S&Ps back, we are at October of 2014. That's where we are right now. So what does that mean? Well, that means that money managers are going to make a choice. And the choice, you know, whether it's a bull or a bear, the choice would be, do I stay in the market? Do I get out of the market? Do I get out of the market now? Market goes south a little bit more. And if that's the case, you got to remember something. Money managers are always going against benchmarks. That's all they care about. What is the benchmark? And how did I perform on the benchmark? Well, bottom line, if in fact we go down lower in the next week and a half and money managers got out now, guess what? You'd outperform the benchmark. That's what they'd be professing. Big deal. Um, bottom line, what's game out here? We're at 201 right now. What's game out here? ASAP is 186.94. That is the high volume swing low from October 2nd. That's in the spies. We go into the NQs, the QQQ. Bottom line, QQQ also wants lower price. Um, Qs right now are down on 40 million shares. You're going into a swing point with 53 million. We get an hour into the market. It'll, it'll get the 50 million. This is option expiration. Uh, what, we, what we also have is that you have dramatically higher volume on the weekly. We're pushing into lows, and I mean dramatically higher volume. The Qs right now, the last low out here had 175 million. We've already done 232 million. They've been getting out of this market and getting out of it in spades. That's what distribution's all about. Push it out, push it out, give it, give it, give it. It's just replays over and over and over again. It's pretty amazing. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Man, oh man, gold folks looked over the cliff, decided it didn't want to jump, thank God. Uh, bottom line, for Friday, pretty in impressive performance for gold. Um, yesterday, what we did is this. Yesterday, it tested swing low. Now, we tested it with slightly lighter volume. You know, we got down to 1,046.80. The swing low is 1,045.40. We did yesterday 169,000 contracts. You were coming into 174. Now that's at the low. That's the low of December 3rd. As we went topside on December 4th, nice juice. That was 209,000 contracts. Topside, well, guess what? We rejected the lower price yesterday, rejected it again today, goes topside today. Gold's on its way now to uh, 1088. More than likely, you're going to see it up there at 1192. What's really cool is that the equities themselves also rejected lower price, had lighter volume on the daily. On the weeklies, the setup are just dynamite. The, the weekly setups, folks, uh, dramatically lighter volume. They close near the highs of the week. Bottom line, they want top. Uh, they they want to run topside. Now, let's get over and we take a look at this. Um, Oil market. This oil market is just absolutely well. All the markets are wild right now. But uh, if we take a, if we take a look at oil, what you're going to see is this: oil market today. We're down nine tenths of one percent. You're trading at thirty five ninety two. This little baby closed at its lows. Three hundred thousand contracts. This baby. By the time we get here in here Monday morning, we're probably going to be at uh, probably thirty four fifty. Um, Big number, folks. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials right now down 302. NASDAQ 64. S&P's down 21. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down uh, 326, Nasdaq's off 69, S&P's are down uh, 23, and we're going to have a nasty close coming into option expiration, folks. Now, as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, um, you're going to see on the front page the Tiger, the Salvation Army dollar, Tiger dollar sale. Uh, we do this a couple times a year. This is the last weekend for it, folks. If, if you want to make 25% on your money, great way to do it. What the Tiger dollars are all about is this. The way it would work is that you can buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars. You, we give you a 25% bonus on top of that, so you get $625 to spend. Out of the, the $500 cash, we are going to donate in your name to the Salvation Army 5% of that. $25 Salvation Army will send you the tax deductible certificate. If you buy 1000 and over, what ends up happening is that we donate 10% in your name. If you buy 1000 what ends up happening, you have $1,250 to spend. Tiger dollars are good on all products at TFNN. No expiration date, totally transferable. So if you have subscriptions at TFNN right now, you want to make an extra 25%, you're thinking of getting any in the next year, you want to make an extra 25% and donate to a great cause, check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, this is a hard date, meaning the 21st of December, it's over. Uh, the reason it's a hard date, sometimes we extend them to the bottom line. We have to send the money uh, to Salvation Army to make sure that uh, everyone has it for the holidays. Okay, market-wise out here, what we're looking at is this. We take, we, if we go into the S&Ps, what you're going to see is that, well, here, let's go, I, I want to get our heads wrapped around Apple first. Because Apple, folks, um, you know, the market's down bad, but Apple is down 295, which is not a lot, by the way. But what has happened because of the weighting structure inside the NDX 100 and the S&P, it affects the, those two indices in a dramatic way, also affects the Dow. What Apple has done, and this had done it on, th on uh, Wednesday, it already broke the swing point with volume. We've, we've done 275 million shares. The swing point only had 180. 7 million. Now we're going off an additional swing point, which is 313, and right now we're at 275. I don't think we're going to break that one with volume, but bottom line, you're going to get close. Apple's going to close out more than likely at its lows. What does that set up? Well, check it out, man, and hold on. That sets up that Apple's going to go after 92 bucks. So that's how that baby uh, is, is set up right now. That is going to continue to keep more pressure 
on all the indices. If we go take a look at the movers inside the Dow Industrials, uh, what you have out here, the largest mover downtown is Boeing. That's down six bucks. You have Disney down four bucks. Goldman Sachs is off 686. And you got Visa down uh, 222. There's only two stocks that are positive. ExxonMobil is up six cents and Caterpillar is up a penny. And Caterpillar, okay, is the, one of the biggest dogs out there. We go take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have? The mover on the way down is Citrix Systems down 323. Netflix is off 452. NTAP is down 87. And you get Intuit off 291. The uh, Dow Industrials. Okay, so let's check out the, 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 the level of volume is going to come out like this. We've already done 933 million. You're going into the lowest swing points that are going to get broken, and we know we already have the volume and the move. What does that mean? That means lower prices are coming at us. You take a look, that's the NYSE. We take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is at, at 1.7. Um, also, you're going to see higher volume, big price. The lower levels that we're going after right now, should check out like this. The lows that were established on November 16th inside the NASDAQ composite is 4,900. We're at 4929. The low that was established on Monday, 4871. Bottom line has volume. The way that we're coming into those levels today are dramatically higher. What does that set up? That sets up, and over the weekend, if you want to benchmark something, you want to benchmark the October 2nd high. The October 2nd high. In the NASDAQ composite is 4707. If you want to take a look at the cash S&P, that number that you want to benchmark out here is 1951. So that's another 61 points down. Let's go to Sean in Canada. Hey, Sean, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how's it going, brother? It's going great, man. How you doing? Oh, actually, I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, I've actually worked all overnight and caught sick just uh, within the last hour, but I've been watching the markets. I'm short the queues. I uh, got a whole bunch of puts, and uh, I'm just watching these babies uh, fly right down. Uh, I've been watching the S&P mainly all day today, and, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I really didn't have to call into question uh, about anything. Uh, I'm just kind of not feeling too well, but I'm a huge fan of the show. I just found out about you guys within the last uh, month and a half. Okay. And I can't believe I'm like, where did these guys come from? I'm, I'm that... so impressed and I'm a big fan. How, and how did you find out about us? You know what? Uh, what I do is I look for, um, sometimes I'll go and I'll go in the search engine and try to find some market analysis around, you know, when I'm itching for some other opinions at key levels, you yeah. know, I like to get insight, uh, sure. sometimes like that, uh, but I just usually draw my trend lines and, and look at all sorts of things, but okay. with this whole Fed reversal thing, like, uh, I mean, I was sweating that, uh, the, the day they uh, raised the rates when I, when I was, uh, in my position there, and then, uh, it swung over, and I thought, oh, man, I gotta get, uh, get in some more, and I'm glad I did this morning. First thing the market opened, I bought some more, uh, puts on the queues, so, but I'm I'm a big fan of you guys and uh, yeah if you ever if you ever see me on the YouTube uh, thing I I comment and like your vids I got I got a few d different channels and stuff but if you ever see the really? Liverpool the Liverpool football talk guy that's me okay man well listen I, I welcome to, welcome to the Tiger family appreciate you growling a problem with us man. Yeah, man, I really appreciate you guys, and uh, I'm just excited to watch your vids. I, I get a lot out of them, uh, and you know what? Uh, I really love the intros you do and the excitement and the energy, and uh, you guys are pretty special, so I'm, I'm pretty pumped to uh, get to uh, see this whole community you guys got, and I'm, I've only seen a few... Um, other people's opinion. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a big fan of you. <laughs> That's where I've started. Well, we got a great, we have a great, great network, man. And there's a lot, oh, of, there's awesome. a lot, there's a lot of diversity, man. And we're really lucky. Um, so, oh, I know it's it's blowing know. me away when I when I see everyone's opinion and all the experience. There's so much to learn. So I just wanted to call in and say thanks. Keep it up and oh. keep going with the videos. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm just getting into your site now. You know, cool, so man. I want to see what's going on there. I haven't had time to get in there. Uh, well, but, it's uh, like, hey, Sean, it's like it's like the Hotel California. California. Once you're in, you can't get out. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, you know what, though? Yeah, that's it. When you have great content, 
uh, it sells itself, you know. So yeah. uh, I really appreciate you guys. Just wanted to, you know, you guys, uh, I get a lot of encouragement when I watch the show, and, uh, and it's, I find it's a very special show. So uh, I just wanted to send something back. You well, know? man. I, thought, I didn't want to leave you guys uh, I, thank- hanging without any appreciation from, uh, from me. You know, it's not good to just take out everything in. you got to give back, you know. So I really appreciate you guys. And we appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for calling, man. Have a- Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sean. Have a great one. Have a safe Thanks. one. You too, bud. And, you know, folks, I do want to thank... Uh, uh, all our talk hosts, uh, all our producers, uh, everyone that, uh, you know, works here, and especially all you listeners. Because, uh, you know, I had said this to one of the targets today. You know, we've been doing this a long time, but we are on the cusp right now of really going to the moon. And it's really cool. And it's a, uh, it's a cumulative effect. But it, it's happening, and uh, it's accelerating very quick. So we do appreciate you being out there. If you do enjoy the program, please tell three people. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 312. Nasdaq's off 68. S&P's are down 21. Gold's up 16. Um, silver's up 40 bucks. We'll get 40, 40 cents. We'll be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. It's true. Life is all about choices. At EverBank, they're making it easy for you to make a smart one with this special cash offer. Open a new yield pledge money market account with funds from another financial institution or deposit new funds into an existing yield pledge money market account and you could earn up to a $500 cash reward. And if you're opening a new account, you'll also get their new higher six-month bonus interest rate along with their yield pledge promise that ensures your yield will always be in the top 5% of competitive accounts at banks nationwide. Open a new account or add to one. It's your choice. To qualify, you must meet balance and other limited time offer requirements. Go to everbank.com forward slash TFNN for details and deposit options or speak with one of their banking specialists at 1-855-750-4051 for more information. You must act by December 31st, 2015 to be eligible. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 310. You get the NASDAQ off 67. S&P is down 21. And as we do each and every Friday at 3.30, we got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. And don't forget, folks, at TFNN, we do live programming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, 8 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. Now, you can get all of that. We replay that, so we on 24 hours a day. You can get all that programming right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi, get to the audio. You want to watch Tiger TV, just as Sean was watching Tiger TV, just go to tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV on the right-hand side. 
Our servers are going to know what type of device you're on. Tiger TV will get delivered. Our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, got a great show every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Master in Probability. You can test drive that right here, right now, 30 days, absolutely free. The way you do it, go to TFNN, go to newsletters, trading newsletters, and you'll see Master in Probability right there. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, uh, Merry Christmas to you, Tom. Merry you know, Christmas. We're, we're not Happy gonna, New Year. Big time. Yeah, we're not going to be together again for three more weeks. Wow. The way that the holidays are falling on Friday. So, uh, oh, yeah. look at that. That's wild, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, well, we'll uh, have to get you on it, another day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, that was a great call from Sean. And, and there's no question, you know, you get to, you know, Nelson Mandela, he, he, he believed that education was the most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. And, you know, what, what Sean was really saying out there, what I want to say to you is, you know, you have helped to change investors world you have helped to change you know and you've given us this great platform in order to do it and there is nothing like each of us being able to educate investors and we've got all of these different minds we see all these different patterns out there and uh you know and so i want to just uh, take the time just to thank you for everything that no, you've done thank you for all your work no you know and it's really you know it, it's you know what's interesting folks is that you know it, <clears throat> that he had called and just as i said there's something happening here you know there which is really cool i mean i, I we, we can see it. We, we see it in the numbers, but it's even more than that. You can just I can feel it, man. You know, and I, I love it when you can feel it like that, you know. So it's pretty cool. There's no doubt. And, you know, um, bottom line is that it is about um, education. And, you know, there's not a lot of education. Well, let's put it this way. There's not a lot of pure education in the financial markets. That's, that's a fact, you know. So oh, I think I just lost him. That's all right. We're going to get him right back. He's going to be right back. Um, as soon as you get him back, just let me know. That's, uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, you know, hey, and when we talk about markets, folks, okay, they, they check this one out. There's, uh, you know, these banks are always such a trip, man, because part of the, their MO is paying fines and taking people to the cleaners, okay? And here's another one. It, what blows my mind about this, it, it blows my mind when somebody even sticks up for banks because this is over and over and over again. So J.P. Morgan today, right? So check this out. J.P. Morgan, now I'm just reading you a story, okay? The bottom line is that they paid, they just paid a fine of 267 million bucks. So this fine, I mean, they, they've been paying billions in fines, okay? This fine had to do with taking their own customers to the cleaners, and the way they did it is that they were selling them their own products when in fact, uh, okay, let me restate that. Any bank, you can sell your own product to anyone you want. The difference is that you have to let them know that you are selling a product that they own, number one. And number two, if you're getting a kickback inside the financial business, you have to basically tell your client you're getting a kickback because it's a conflict of interest. Bottom line, one after the other after the other. J.P. Morgan again out here today. You know, and this is where it drives me crazy with, even with the SEC. The SEC, they, J.P. Morgan admitted that they did it, okay? But then when they make the agreement, it's one of those deals that nothing happens. So J.P. Morgan is going to pay $300 million to settle U.S. allegations that didn't properly inform clients of, uh, about what the SEC called numerous conflicts of interest in how it managed, managed customers' money um, over, now check this out, over half a decade. I don't have to go any further. If you want to uh, pull it up, you can pull it up. The, the bottom line, folks, is that it just never stops, okay? And if you think, when you hear that they complained about Todd Frank and all this, bottom line, folks, you got to get keep regulations on these banks because they still run everything. There's, there's, that's just how it goes, you know? Um, now, you can, you can change it, but you, you have to know about that so that, you know, if you're dealing with these big banks, you got to ask questions and you got to ask specifically, you know, the product they're selling. Do they, you know, is it a good product? Do they make, how much money are they making on it? They have to disclose that stuff. And if you don't ask, you're never, you're never going to get the answer. Now, let's go over and we take a look at the dollar index. Uh, the dollar index, this was the, um, now this back down today. And it backed down with 29,000 contracts. Yesterday, it goes topside. And as we went topside yesterday, it went topside with about uh, 24,000. Um, that was going into 125,000. The dollar index right now is at 98.73. It would have to get back inside. Um, 
let's see, back inside 98.35. And, and I, I, my take is that it will and we'll get on the other end. But that's how that is set up at this particular point. The thing that's amazing here is that the bonds, the dollar, are absolutely running counterintuitive if you are a fundamentalist looking at what should happen when rates go higher. Because the book theory would be that as rates go higher, dollar goes higher, bonds go lower. Well, that's not happening. It's a, and it's a true supply and demand deal. You know, we'll see where this shakes out. And when I say a true supply and demand, bonds are going higher because more people are buying them and no one's selling them. Now, my take on that is that because people just want to make sure they have their money back. They're not trying to make money. Because the way that this S&P is set up right now, um, you know, we brought up the aspect that a lot of stocks have gone down to the August of 2011 time frame. When we take a look at this S&P, you know, what, what we've done is that the October 2014 time frame was sticking out like a sore thumb. Well, we never made it all the way down there, folks. Okay, 1820 is that, that low. We made it down to 1867. That was in August. We came back down again in October. We made it down to 1871. That's, you know, that, I suspect that's where we're heading right now. That's the first part. The second part is the much larger part. Now, the larger part is that, uh, is it going to go after this August 2011 time frame? And if that's what you get, now you're talking big trouble because uh, that's uh, at much lower prices. We go take a look at uh, some of the Dow stocks out here, bottom line is that what you're going to see out here inside the Dow Industrials is that the Dow has come into the lows. We're at the lows in the Dow. The low in the Dow in November was 17,210. We're under it. The low Monday was 17,138. We're going after it. And we're going after it with a vengeance. Because when we're talking about volume, we're going to do about 1.3 billion shares inside the NYSE, and what does that set up? You, you start breaking those swings, you break them with volume, lower prices are coming at you. Now, let's go over to the XAU and the HUI. Um, XAU, HUI, bottom line, they both, they both want higher price. They rejected lower price. They never made it to their lows, thank God. Uh, bottom line, we, the XAU right now is at 44.88. I expect we're going to see that first. It's going to run up to the 49.96. We get juice there, and it will go to the $58 level. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFN. I'm man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. He lost power, folks. He probably got a little lightning strike, and we're getting a storm coming into Florida here. So I do apologize for that. You stay right there, though. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials down 305, NASDAQ off 62, S&P's down 21, we'll get it right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting tfnn.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down at 300. You get the NASDAQ off 61. S&Ps are off 20. And as we do each and every Friday, we get our man, Mr. Dave White, with us, our technology expert at TFNN. And Dave's on every trading day, folks, 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. You can pick him up right in your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. He also has two great newsletters. Uh, it's the Path and the Path of Least Resistance and the Tech Insider. You can test drive both of them or either one of them by coming over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters. If you'd like to, an investment newsletter, you go to investment newsletters. That'll give you the path of uh, the Tech Insider. You want to, um, the trading newsletter, just go to the trading newsletter section and get the uh, path of least resistance. Uh, so we're looking at deliveries, Amazon deliveries. They're going to, it looks like they want to lease 20 planes of their own wow. just to fly things around. In fact, Good old we, Bezos. We were talking about it maybe two weeks or four weeks ago right. about all the little vans running around the neighborhood, and they're basically supplanting what FedEx and the post office and UPS were doing. And in particular, you know, wondering why, you know, FedEx was going down when, in fact, we know the, that Internet orders are going up astronomically. Right, right. And at that point, they were kind of going down. They had a nice little earnings bounce out there. But yep. it pretty much gave it all back, I think, and, and more today. Uh, but it is one of those where you start thinking, if everything's going through Amazon and they go totally vertical. Yeah, which they, they want to do. Right. Well, at least they want to cut out as much of the other people. Now, they're saying they can't get FedEx and UPS to deliver on time. I don't know if I've had a problem yet with Amazon orders with that. I haven't had any problem with them. So, I mean, I think that's probably just a wrap, you know? Yeah, I think they, they, they you know, if you operate your own planes, maybe they think they can save a few bucks. I mean, everything on them is the grocery store model. You can't afford to waste a penny, right? right. Because everything, we're operating 6% margins. This is not Apple operating at 69% options. And they know they're destroying, you know, other companies like nothing. My you know? question, and I, I've thought about it for a while, I still don't have a good answer. At what point does this echo probably Microsoft of 2000, where the federal government comes in and says, you guys are monopoly? Because I think I, they're... No, I think it's a great question. I think the hard thing in, in this aspect is because there's in so many other people's businesses that the way that the interest is supposed to work is that it's a consolidated business, right? And you you've taken that business apart. So like that would be like if there there's no more competition in the service business, so there's no more competition on the internet. The, the government at this point couldn't say there is. There's so much competition, it's unbelievable. It's just that Amazon is such a sledgehammer. Well, I, remember when we went back? I think it was last week, and we talked about them having 37 percent of all the sales. Yes. At what point does that become 50% of the sales? And that then the government steps in and says, yeah, they, they, you have listen, to at least no, cut something back or it, cut it, back out. I'm it, just, 
No, it, it could definitely happen. There's, there's no doubt about that. I just don't, I think we're a long way from it, though. But I, I think that the... What would the tipping point be, then? What would happen that would actually that, that, get that, the government to go over the, the top? The tipping point would be when some company is getting hurt, and that company has already given more money and soft money to all the congressmen. No, that, that's well, it. It's a payoff system, Well, man. that's what I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. wondering. I mean, we've got now Google is the biggest uh, uh, purveyor of money to Washington of any company. So there you go. By right. a far sight. But there and I'm sure if we look back, it used to be IBM. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, but right. at that point, it's not Amazon. Right. But the, a lot of these guys are going to kind of head into each other over time. And is it really just going to be as simple as who gives all the right money? Or the people finally get mad about... It, it seems to me that it always gets to be a tipping point, And it has to do with you stepping on someone else's toes, toes. that has political power. Right. That's the, and once that happens, then all of a sudden all the cards seem to drop at the same time. But, you know... Our robot masters. This is pretty cool. Wait to see this slide, folks. This is a trip because this is this is getting closer every day. So. This happened about 5:30 last Friday night, okay. so I had to wait on it for a week to kind of go into it. But there was a big deal, uh, an AI summit, artificial intelligence summit, and Peter Thiel, who's one of the uh, original PayPal, PayPal mob, yeah, and of course uh, Elon Musk, who's also from that PayPal mob, okay, got together and they put together a billion dollars and it's just a fun to go out there and make sure that robots don't eventually get smarter than us and kill us. So I don't know exactly. How? That's how <laughs> yeah. from 2001, right? Yeah. Uh, and of course, the, a lot of people didn't really understand it until the second movie what had happened to make him kill everybody because he just kind of did it. And what happened? What did it they didn't. T uh, they didn't allow Hal to tell the, the people that were on the spaceship okay. about the obelisk and everything else that they were going to see at the very end of it. So what Hal couldn't do is lie, and they programmed him to lie, and the software wasn't good enough, and he went, basically it was like a person going insane that can't tell the truth but has to tell the truth and that was the computer fighting itself wow. and pretty and basically the decision it came up with is we're going to fling these guys out into space and make sure, and just leave them out there and therefore I can continue my mission that's amazing because my mission is the, the priority but that's a good example 2001 of you can have very simple laws but what happens when they get cloudy and people put in other Oh, I, listen, I, back into it. I think, listen, folks, this is something you want. It's serious business. We, we, right. Technology's got to the point right now that the computers are running everything on our daily life. It's serious business right now that, well, that someone could get control of a computer and do some heavy damage to all of us. Google's really upset the last couple of days because basically the, uh, the uh, California government is telling them that they've got to have at least a human in the car everywhere it goes because they've been getting in these uh, incredible amount that of accidents. That makes sense, too. I, that, that totally makes sense. Right. But the reason that they're getting in the accidents is the same thing we brought up before. I mean, the first thing you brought up is that it's the humans on the other side hitting them, right? Right. Yeah, because which makes they, sense. They, right. they slow down. They Listen, try to... folks, all you have to do is come down to Florida right now <laughs> and, they, and go in a Publix parking lot. You go in a Publix parking lot and try to get out of that parking lot right now, let me tell you. Yeah. You better have five heads looking around. I mean, it's... Head on a swivel. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's a trip. It's a trip. No, but, no. Uh, yeah, but it, it's still so the same thing. What do we got thing. next? I don't mean to rush it, but I oh, know we oh, got... Oh, yeah, we're getting get that a second. Stream from home. Right. Now, it's been one of these things where if you've had Verizon or other services... Yes. You've been able to stream as long as you're around your home router. Yeah. But if I record something on my Verizon Fios okay. box... I've not been able to come to the office here and watch it or see it when I'm, uh, you know, out in a hotel room. Sure. I only could watch it in my own home. Now you can? Now they're doing it. I think this is, uh, when we were talking tipping points before, yeah. I thought that this was the big tipping point because everybody was so deathly afraid that once this happened, it would be truly the unbundling that we saw in Disney today. Yes that really bothered people. And I'm not so sure that Disney problem wasn't the fact that the movie wasn't a 10 yeah. and not just a nine. Yeah. I mean, it was a good movie, but maybe not 
what they thought that it was going to be. Yeah. Everybody's blaming no, the I unbundling think, I, of ESPN. I think that's I think that's happening because you know with that call that we got from Sean, what's happening even with us at TFNN folks is that people are just getting used to watching TV on the internet and that's whenever why, they want. And what's going on? That's why our numbers are just going up like this. It's it, it just it's it just it, it's like real TV now. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know if I have the slide here, but we'll bring it up when we come back. Yep. And it's Amazon socks. I'll yeah, bring it up. Awesome, man. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Dave and I are coming back. Dow's uh, down 304. Nasdaq's up 61. S&P's are down 21. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down at 332. You get the NASDAQ off 101. S&Ps are down 25. And as you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, this is the last weekend if you want to make 25% on your money. And what I'm talking about specifically is Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are good for all products at TFNN. No expiration date. Totally transferable. Uh, we do this a couple times a year. Uh, the dead drop dead date is December 21st. Uh, we are giving 5% of your cash value as a donation to Salvation Army. They will send right to your door the tax deductible certificate. Anything over $1,000, we're donating 10%. So check it out on the front page of uh, TFNN. Uh, and that is the hard date. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at these markets, uh, what you're going to see is that, uh, you know, we, we know that we have quad witching out here, so it's going to be big volume. Um, you know, we already have big volume, but there's going to be actually more coming into the close. We're already a billion shares on the NYSE. When you take a look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ's already at 2 billion. Uh, you take a look at these, uh, that cash S&P folks. Well, actually, if I bring up the SPY, so everyone can bring up the SPY. 
Uh, the SPY right now is, has done 200 million shares. You're coming into the last swing low at 182 million, last swing low at 117. The SPY wants to run down to uh, the 195 level. That's, uh, that's the highs of uh, October 2nd. You know, and it was game here, folks. Is, you know, August 24th low is game, but I suspect the next uh, step is going to be right into that uh, 195 level. We take a look at the Qs, the uh, QQQ, what you have with the Qs, same type of setup. That's going to be a benchmark, by the way. Uh, the Qs, that wants to run into the 104 level, which is six bucks down. The Qs have done 47 million. You're going into a 53, so that would probably just do about 53, uh, and 33. And of course, uh, you know, I had heard you, Dave, talking about Apple on your show. Uh, you know, Apple, folks, it's only down $3, but the weighting structure is so large inside these indices, man, that you know, and this is Apple's breaking with volume on the way down, but three dollars absolutely smokes these in, in indices. It's pretty wild, man. It, it is, but it, to me, the biggest thing was the change of the way the the coverage this week, and that is every other time for the last three years that Apple pulled back, everybody always said, "Well, I'm going to buy it. It's going to go higher." Now we got everybody on the parade list of saying it's going lower out there and there's not a lot of people supporting it so I'm suspecting that when we see the short sales data and the short levels in Apple and maybe Boeing and some of these others that we saw uh, or will see the the numbers that come out the 23rd for short interest on each stock probably a lot of these guys are already short if they're already bad mouthing it now yeah I think well I think we're in a distribution for a year the longer that right. you're in distribution the more problematic it comes folks and, and what happens is this is that you never know when the downdraft's going to come you do know when you're in distribution yeah. and you know, we've been in just in the longer you're in distribution by the way the harder the, the deal we've been in distribution for 14 months you know we're at highs of 14 months it, you want to exercise over the weekend folks look at any stock you have look at the tops of it on a monthly or weekly and look at the bottoms you're going to see all the bottoms have high volume all the tops have no volume that's distribution in spades this is a, just a, a replay over and over again um, you mock them up, you run them up, you distribute them up, you mock them down. And that's where we're at. And, you know, that's on a technical basis. A fundamental basis is, guess what? The PEs are 14 to 16 and rates are going up. So, and they're financial engineering, these companies at 14 and 16, you know, so bottom line, you're really paying like 20, 25 dollars for one dollar earnings. You, you know? know what these people need to know about before they leave? What? Tiger dollars. Tiger dollars. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger dollars. No, seriously, folks. Hey, listen, we really appreciate you being out here growling a prowl with us. If you do enjoy the program, please tell three people. And folks, if you haven't looked at Tiger TV, check it out, man. It's, it's amazing. Thanks, Dave. You appreciate bet. it. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking right back here, Monday morning. Go get them, folks.